What's going on guys and welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to be doing another quiz, another personality type quiz. And this time we're doing Hunter x Hunter. Last time I did um, One Piece and I got my Devil Fruit and now I'm going to get my Nen type. I tried to search up to see one that would be like Nen ability like in general because I feel like it would be cool to like get a specific Nen ability that one other character has but I couldn't find any. I feel like, I guess it would just be easier to do the Nen type. So yeah, I have once again three quizzes. One of them's gonna be from the official Crunchyroll website again, and let's see if I get the same one two times or three times. There are less Nen types than there are Devil Fruits, and I got two of the same Devil Fruits last time. So who knows? Maybe I'll get all the same, which would be pretty cool. Anyways, let's go start quiz. Okay, there are 20 questions, so I'm gonna try to speed through this. Let's start with challenging your 10 skills. Are you right? Take the Hunter test. Um, okay, I guess I'll just say yes, you know, just simple yes. A person who killed your parents is in front of you, but your master says you should not hurt him. What do you do? Listen to my master, I wait for a bad chance to kill him, kill him selfly, I don't want to kill him anyway. Convince my master to let me kill him. I'd kill him with no harm. Um, it's an interesting question. I, th it, mm, I think I'd wait for a better chance to kill him. You know, I, I would want to like hurt him, but not kill him. Would you leave a loved one behind to achieve the highest potential of your Nen? Um, it depends, I guess. What comes first? Answer as a potential hunter. Success, fan yeah. success family, skill, loyalty, knowledge, uniqueness. Um, I want to say family. But, hmm, honestly the Hunter x Hunter world is so interesting, I really would want to have knowledge and everything, with like the Dark Continent, you know, like everything about the world. So I guess I'd be similar to Jing in that way, but I don't want to be like Jing, I hate Jing. Okay, I would never use my aura powers to, um, I would hurt other people, like, like obviously like bad people, you know, I wouldn't hurt good people, I'm a hero, not a villain. Uh, become an ordinary hunter. Follow the orders. Humiliate. I'd say. I'll say humiliate. I wouldn't like. Yeah, I wouldn't humiliate other people. Do you think that people should respect you because of your net? Um. Probably yes. You know, not like absolutely. You have to. You know. Whatever. Whatever. What would you do if someone started shit talking about hunters? I would. I'd back them up for fun, I'd engage in conversation, nothing special. I'd say nothing special. You know, I'll, I'll let them talk. What do you think about non users? And I like to have non users friends as a hunter. I don't really think about them. They need hunters' protections, and protection. Non users are easier to manipulate, they could be boring. I'll say. So I'd like to have non user friends. Would you listen to your master no matter what? Um, it depends, you know. I feel like that's just the only real answer. What do you think about a hunter who is scared of his or her enemy? What will happen? I, can't, I can help them overcome their fears. Fear can be a dangerous weapon. They need to be open about their fears. You should learn to handle your fear. I'll say fear is inevitable. Which of the following things would make you kill someone? Um, wait, hold on. Which of the following things would make you kill someone? Duty, situation. I'd say situation, right? Because if you're in a situation where you have to kill someone, then you're gonna kill someone. Right? I'm just gonna go with that. I believe blank is not a good reason to kill someone. Uh, hmm, I'll say anger. You shouldn't kill someone out of anger. I guess revenge would be similar to that, but I'll just go with anger. How would you like to deal with your nemesis? Fight negotiation points under keeping them away, convincing them to give up killing. I'll say negotiation. You know, I, I, I feel like if I was a hunter, I'd like to imagine that I would be more of a, what's it called, pacifist, I guess. You know, I would fight, but I don't think I'd kill. Even though, like, my answer in the first one said that I would kill, like, if I had revenge on someone, but, you know, I guess. I'm learning more about myself the more and more I take this quiz. Magnus Okamoro has surrendered himself, what would you do to him? Um, in prison, I guess? 
Which of the following words make you feel good about yourself? Control, adapt, imagination, love, affect, uniqueness. Huh? Makes you feel good about yourself? I don't really understand the question, but I guess I'll go uniqueness. My aura form is like a blank. Just choose a word that makes more sense to you. My aura form is like a sensation, dream, power supply, nothing you've seen before, shield, train of thought. If my aura form, I want it to be like second nature to me, like, so I guess power supply, sensation maybe, like not a train of thought because I don't want to have to consciously use my aura, I want it to have to be like, you know, like subconscious. I'll say power supply. Which of the following styles would you like to have in the Hunter Hunter universe? Attacker, defender, supporter, healer, leader, none. I'll say... Hmm. I'll say supporter. Yeah. Not like on the main. Like I, I will, I'll be like you know helping people getting some hits in, but not like be the main attacker. Yunnan is as powerful as a lightning, stone weapon, source of energy, spirit, or spiritual or mythical creature, random object. I feel like I'd want to have like fire power, so I'll say source of energy. I guess choose one of the following weapons: sword, dagger, handgun, sniper, rocket, magic. Uh, magic. Yeah, I guess by magic I'm assuming they mean my nun ability. So yeah, you know I want like fire. You know, shoot fire at people. Final question: Which of the following elements would suit your mind force? Oh, okay, fire. So before I go in, um, I'm gonna say what nun ability I want because I didn't think I said that yet. So I'd want to go with a transmuter. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, transmuter, where basically you can change your nun to like other properties like Killua is and Soka so I would want to change it to like you know fire which I understand like in the universe that would make that would mean that I have to like torture myself with fire like ha like be in contact with fire a lot before I'd be able to do it but you know what I guess yeah I'm, I'm up for that transmutation nice you are an adaptive person no matter how tough the conditions get you perform your best that is what makes you an excellent team member you are reliable, trustworthy, and most notably independent. That's actually really interesting because if I remember correctly, Hisoka's definition of a transmuter, which obviously isn't like canon or whatever, it's just what Hisoka thinks, but he thought transmuters were like more like sneaky and like manipulative, which is not what this says. So that's interesting. I'll play I'll play a clip if I am I'll play a clip of what I'm thinking of. Chinamini Bokua Henkake Kimagure de Usotski Bokta Chuai Shoga Iyo Sekaka Se Hantai de Hikarea Dakedo Chui Shinaito Henkake wa Kimagure da Kara. All right, but next we have another quiz. Let's uh, start. Hopefully, this one isn't that long. Okay, it's one question again. Um, let's just speed. Speak through this. Are you very determined to reach your goals? Uh, yes, quite a lot. Are you honest, frank, and free from ambiguity or pretense? Hmm. I'll say not much. Like, like I am. Like, it's like I'm getting there, but also, you know, not really. You consider yourself selfish. I say I'm not selfish, but I'm also, you know, like not much, but I am. Are you eccentric or strange in a way that is alluring or entertaining? Uh, not really. You enjoy pranking and misleading people? I'll say a bit, you know, like, people I'm close with. Maybe then, like, I wouldn't go out of my way to do those, like, elaborate pranks with, like, like you'd need to, like, go out and buy stuff or whatever, you know. Uh, do you hide your true self from others? I guess not much. Most of my answers are, like, very neutral, but, like, I mean, I don't really feel that strongly about any of these. Do you have a unique personality? Oh, I guess I'll say quite a no, I'm pretty average in terms of personality wise. Are you unpredict are you unpredictable in nature? No. I think I'm more like of a logical character. Like one of my biggest pet peeves in anime is when characters just don't like be logical and and like when writers use like pride as a 
just just as an excuse to make their characters do dumb things. It's like, come on, you know? Are you usually nervous, anxious, or excited? Um, I guess a bit. I mean, I don't know. Do you find yourself to be serious? I'll say quite a lot. You know, I'm pretty serious. You often get quick changes in your mood and temper. Um, sometimes, yeah. Are you easily are you easily excited or aroused and tend to get very emotional? Not really. Are you inclined to act on impulse rather than thought? No, not at all. I really try to think th think things through. Are you capable of reasoning clearly and consistently? I I'd like to think so. Do you have a strong desire for success or achievement? Uh, a bit, you know. I usually don't go out of my way too much, but you know, I I want to be successful. Are you indifferent about most things? Yeah, I'll say quite a lot of pretty indifferent. Do you have an extraordinary ability to attract other people? Not at all. I, honestly, not really. Yeah, no. Are you independent or uncommitted to other people? Um... No? Well... I'd say I am kind of independent, but I'm not like uncommitted, so I'll say not much. Do you have something special that separates you from others? I guess, like a bit, I mean, probably, you know, you see yourself as a complex person. Uh, yeah, I, I think that I am pretty complex, but I feel like I actually don't know. I got conjurer, serious, observant, and high strung, I would call you. You are a master of illusion. Interesting. Hmm. That is interesting, actually. So, you already know what type of net ability I'd have if I was a transmuter. If I was a conjurer, what net ability would I want to conjure things? What would my main weapon be? I have to think about this. I could do like, I, I like really like katanas and swords and stuff, so I feel like having that would be pretty cool. But it is also kind of basic. Um, what would my weapon of choice be? I mean, theoretically, can't you conjure fire? Right? Like, I feel like that makes sense, maybe? I don't know something I have to think about but next we have the country roll one and you know country roll is the most official out of all of these so should be the most accurate uh, you're about to set out on a grand adventure what are you bringing with you I'll do my research and bring up every and bring absolutely everything necessary you can never be too careful I'll bring some of the essentials while I figure out what else I need anything I need will be out there when I need it um, only a few tools okay I think it's either one of these two. I'll say I'll do my research. What's your weapon of choice if you're caught in a scrap? Oh, I was just wondering about this. Uh, my fist should do the trick. A sword for sure. I don't mind being up close, but a blade will help me keep my distance when I need to. A projectile weapon help maintain the gap between me and my enemies. I'm not picky when it comes to weapons. I'll use whatever it takes to defeat my opponent. I'll say a sword. Time to get your workout on. What are you doing for exercise? Definitely pumping iron. The heavier, the better. I prefer to go on a run to get my heart rate up and engage my whole body. I don't like lifting weights, but also engage my body with other activities. I don't really exercise that much. I'll say, you know, go on a run. What do you find yourself doing in a school project or a group project? Um. Yeah, I feel like I usually end up doing all the work. What's your video vi favorite video game genre? Uh, I guess RPGs. You need to steal someone's badge and hunter exam in a certain amount of time. How do you do it? Study them quietly and wait for my chance. Confront my target immediately. I try to negotiate with someone who has them. If I can't fight, I'll strike a deal. Wait until my target gets tired and steal it when they're down. Honestly, I feel like... I'll do study them quietly and wait for my chance. Alright, what are your watching habits? I might take, make time for a few episodes a day so I can watch at my pace and enjoy a lot of it at once. It's binge watching time. One or two episodes at a time. I only watch when I'm not busy. Uh, a few episodes a day is pretty. Okay, yeah, I'll say I'll say a few episodes a day. You're about to get into a fight, but you can tell your opponent is very strong. What's your next move? 
Um, take them on, assess the situation, run immediately, hide and regroup. I'll say assess the situation, come up with strategy. You know, figure out what's my high, what do I have to do to have the highest chance of surviving this. If you can travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I wouldn't go too far from home, somewhere I've never been before, no matter how far it is, some place I've been before, but I haven't gone sick of, I wouldn't go anywhere, I'd stay right here at home. I'd say, like specifically, if someone were asking me if I can travel anywhere to anywhere in the world, I'd probably say Japan, because I'm really interested in Japan and like all that stuff. But like other than that, all the other places would be places I've been before and I haven't gone sick with, you know, like Canada, New York, maybe. Um, so, I, I guess I'll still say somewhere I've never been before. How would your friends describe you? Introverted and quiet, helpful and, helpful and considerate, confident and optimistic, smart and cool-headed. Definitely not the last two. I guess introverted and quiet. Um, you have an entire day all to yourself. What do you do with your free time? Concentrate on self-care. Take stock of any tasks you need to do before deciding on anything else. Party it up. Whatever comes up, I'll be down to do it. I mean, if it's something like, you know, like binge watching anime and stuff was here, then I'd probably do that. I'll say take stock of any task before whatever, you know? Make sure I have everything that I need to have done is done. When you're shopping for a new phone, what are you in the market for? Um, I say something new, but not too complicated. Oh, and I got three different types. Jeez. As a manipulator, your capacity for Nen is all about control. Depending on whatever method you craft and the conditions you meet, you can control objects or even other people to varying degrees. Manipulators tend to rely on logic, taking their time to review all angles of a situation in order to calculate the best possible outcome. Honestly, I feel like this is actually the one that describes me the best. I guess I am a manipulator. Let's read the description for this one. Reliable, trustworthy, and most notably independent. Uh, no matter how tough the conditions get, you perform your best, I guess? Um, serious, observant, and high strung. I would call you your master of illusion. Honestly, I feel like Crunchy Roll's the description is the best. So I think manipulator. What would I manipulate? Hmm. It's interesting. I have to think about this for a little bit. Alright, I think I've decided. And I honestly think my manipulating ability would be something about like distance like keeping distance so i would want to throw stuff and i honestly think if i don't know if it's possible it's something similar to like telekinesis like with like one specific island, i think knives so i think i like throw knives and as i throw it if they dodge it i can like use my ability to you know like send it their way and now that i'm thinking about it it actually is seems very similar to that one guy from the hunter exam arc that tried to kill Hisoka, but yeah i guess Mine would be like a better version of that ability, I guess. Well, he, he didn't really have an ability, if I remember correctly. He was just throwing knives, because at that point, nine wasn't a uh, system yet. So, yeah, the, but this was actually pretty fun. I will leave the, all three quizzes in the description, so make sure to tell me what you got if you decide to play along with me. And, yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe. And I guess that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.